So this video is going to be a little bit different than what I've been, <laughs> the vlog style stuff, but um, I won $25,000. Thank you to Karamo Brown from Queer Eye. Thank you to Zell Pay. I'm going to explain in this video how I won $25,000 and what I'm doing with it. This is amazing. Ugh, can't wait to talk about this with you guys. So yes, look, if you've been following this journey, I've been documenting what this process has been like for myself to begin the foster experience. Well, two weeks, maybe three weeks ago, I put in my, uh, a con I entered myself into a contest to win $25,000. Now, here's what it's all about. Karamo Brown from Queer Eye and Zell, Zell Pay, the company where you send money back and forth to people, put together this Zell Cheer contest where they wanted people to nominate others or themselves uh, with how they've been spreading cheer through, uh, you know, through the world to people throughout 2020. And I was like, well, I'll just apply for this. You had to create a 60 second video on Instagram nominating yourself uh, and talk about how you've been spreading cheer throughout 2020 through these difficult times. So if you want to see that video, click the link below on my Instagram and that'll take you right to my entry video. Well, turns out I actually won and Karamo himself actually picked me to be one of the three winners who were awarded $25,000 from Zell and Karamo. It is amazing. So I wanna put on the screen a little bit about our conversation. Um, this was broadcast live on Karamo's Instagram and Facebook. So here's a little bit of our conversation. That you're a single man in the process of fostering to adopt a child. And let me tell you something, that's what really connected with me because first of all, we live in a country where sometimes LGBTQ identified people, um, um, women are single women are not given the opportunity to foster or adopt. And I thought it was just so beautiful and courageous that you wanted to um, adopt someone and open up your home to foster anyone and are taking us on their journey. So what made you want to expand your family? Well, I think it's, you know, you come to, because this question gets asked to me a lot. So you come to the point where you're just like, you, you want to have children and being a gay man, it's not something that I always knew I wanted children. However, I did not know how that was going to manifest itself. And mm -hmm. I think 2020 played more of a role in that for me than I expected. And maybe it was just through contemplation of, you know, what I'm doing with life and the amount of time you had to be at home and be with yourself. And the more I got to thinking about life, I just said, like, why don't I do this? And before I knew it, I was on the phone with the foster agency and they were at my house four days later. That is such a beautiful thing. I'm, I worked in social services for many years and I know how, especially during the holidays, how much it means to children to know that someone out there wants to open their home to them and give them some love, some care, give them a little cheer. Like I know it personally. Also, you know, I have my own kids, one biological, one adopted. And I know how that is for a child just to feel loved and wanted. You know, part of your journey is that you've been documented on YouTube. Has that helped you yeah. to stay connected with others and inspire others throughout this process? That was the whole thing because when I started this, I was going to YouTube to try and find other people. And I really did want to find single gay men that were going through. I was open to hearing about private adoption, surrogacy, fostering, anything. And I just couldn't find it. I don't know if the algorithms weren't giving it to me, what it was, but I couldn't find it anywhere. So I just started like posting videos of myself and talking about this experience. And before I knew it, I started getting messages from people literally from all over. It was in the comments. And then some people came over to my Instagram right now. There's someone in Africa who has been 
telling me how inspiring this story is of mine. And honestly, that's the stuff that I think all people who are going through the foster experience need, but especially LGBTQIA people, because when I started this, I believe in one of my beginning videos, I said, if you have nothing good to say, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear any of your negativity. And, and, and you, and I had to shield myself from anyone who had something negative to say about this, because we all know that LGBTQIA people, man, like it's a battle when you talk about raising children, people have their opinions and it, yeah. So people, they reach out, they, they're just like, you've been inspiring this journey. I watch all your videos and it's been wonderful. It's been a beautiful thing. It's been beautiful. Well, what you just said about people reaching out and you inspiring them and giving them hope, giving them some joy, sending them some cheer, and also what you're going to be doing for any child you foster at any part of this journey in your, of you becoming and opening up your house and growing your family. I just want to let you know that is why I had to choose you. That is why I'm so proud of you and so inspired by you. And listen, as you're on this journey, I'm here with you. So before I let you go, I want to know one last thing. What are you doing with this money? What are you doing with this money? Because I'll take five dollars, but what are you doing with the money? I'm joking with you. <laughs> no, man. Like, okay, so honestly, I I find a lot a lot of peace and security of money in the bank. We all know, like, as you foster. So I'm gonna. I told the foster agency anywhere from newborn to age one, and there are a lot of expenses. Um, so that that in itself would be will be really nice to have that that security but i want to give back to my foster agency and donate some money there um but i'm gonna buy i'm gonna buy myself something i'm not exactly sure it won't be insane but i really you know we all got bills to pay so i just want to yes. like pay the bills let the money sit and just have that financial peace for some time. <laughs> you know what I mean? Listen, don't feel listen, don't feel guilty. You were given this money because you've done good. Spend it on yourself, spend it on the bills, save some because you're about to have a family. And I know how expensive yeah. families are. So save as much as you possibly can. Listen, Kevin, you're an inspiration. I'm now a friend. If you need me anywhere along this journey, hit me up. Take care, my man. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. I really appreciate you're, it. You. You're welcome. Look at that, Kevin, you see what we're doing here? We That's pretty amazing, is it not? Like, I was just beside myself. As I finished this up and took like a couple minutes to like, people were texting me and one like, oh my goodness, Kevin, calling me. And I just took a couple minutes for myself. In my other videos, I talk about how I was planning on adopting, private adoption first. Well, when I was in that process, I met Amy because I was, you know, like on YouTube and I was like, oh, let me see what people are doing. She had a video about adoption. Amy told me, you're gonna find that you're gonna become a voice for adoption, that people are going to ask you questions because they don't know much about it. And I heard that and I, I get, like I've heard things like that in the past and people explain things like that, but I didn't get it fully, I think until now. Because since I started documenting this, people do reach out. You guys see it in the comments of the videos people reach out. I get private messages on social media and Instagram and whatnot about my experience and people asking me, hey, can you tell me about fostering? What do I need to do to do this? And that is the point of this channel to talk about this experience. And now, the money is fantastic, right? The money is like outstanding. Like that's huge. And now parents.com, they want to interview me. And that interview is actually out today. So you can check out that interview and it's in the description below if you wanna check it out. They wanna interview me and talk about me fostering as a single dad, a single person. I didn't, I didn't, I wanted to raise a child. <laughs> And now all this cool stuff's happening. And my friend, Michelle, who I talk about in my videos quite often, she said, Kevin, the reason this is happening is because it's supposed to happen. And I think she's right about that. I think she's right about that. So now, you know, 
I've got this money and I'm gonna donate some of it to my foster agency because I wanna give back. And also, I've got like this wonderful cushion so that when a child's here, you know, parenting's expensive. I don't care how much money you have, parenting is expensive. And it's nice to know that like, that is like taken care of. I'm working on a video that is documenting my entire journey about the waiting process, waiting for that phone call to come through because I've been approved and now it's just like waiting for them to call me for a baby. That'll be out soon. Um, and I'm literally like every day just spending time documenting my thoughts and it is up and down. It gets to be like anxiety provoking, but it also is super exciting sometimes and that's coming out soon. But thank you guys for watching this. If you enjoy these videos and this content and if you're passionate about adoption or fostering and you have questions, please leave them in the comments below. I get back to everyone in the comments. I talk to people in the comments and that's a wonderful way for people to uh, come back and, and see w that people are interested in fostering. There's 400,000 children in the foster care system in the United States and we need to step up and we need to give these kids homes. These kids need healthy homes that they can live in. So that's it for now. Thank you everybody for watching. Stay tuned for that video coming up. Check out the, the description because there's a lot of content in there. And please comment, let me know what you guys think about this. All right, peace out.